I did this amazing prank the other day via text message. Should I show them the picture? Yeah, you've got to do But it. I'll just show it on here. Basically, I pranked um, one of my friends into thinking, who hadn't seen me in a while, because I had to do it with someone who hadn't seen me in a while, because everyone else has seen me, into thinking I was pregnant. And I did oh, the best basically, pick stitch picture. Rosie ate something on a meal out that she didn't realise had gluten in it. And basically... I don't eat gluten. Rosie doesn't eat gluten. She's going to show you why she doesn't eat gluten. Show them your stomach after you eat gluten. This is me and my fake scan. Look at her, how big her stomach swells with gluten. That was... <laughs> I sent this to a friend. I took so many pregnancy pictures with my gluten bump. That's my gluten baby. Also, look how happy I am to have a fake pregnancy. So I was like, I kept rubbing my stomach and being like, touch it, Rosie, this is what it'll be like. And you were like, it's fucking gluten. You were like, can you not? And I, I was, like, was so uncomfortable with you pranking Kirsty. I was like, don't do it, Rosie, I can't take it. Oh, wait, I've got some more good ones, actually. This is one I did. <laughs> that's literally when I eat gluten. And that's what happened. The difference is crazy. Wait, how slim I look and then... How... <laughs> Basically, we called, we called it Nando's. <laughs> um, oh, my <laughs> God. But my baby scan, though. But if you go and look on our Instagram, it's a really hot picture of Rosie on the beach at La Jolla. Yeah, and, and I was really and worried. she's got a flat right, stomach. I was really worried. I've got a really good stomach. You can see little abs at the top, um, and I'm working on them. Are you saying no? No, I said yes. I'm kidding. working on making them bigger because they're only at the top. I need to get them all the way you, down. Yeah, you have got you have. I've got baby abs. You have. They're so cute. They're You've just coming through. Babs, baby abs. Um, and then I eat gluten and literally abs are gone. Wait, I've got to find this picture again with my baby scan. It's so good. I oh, even put my name. Rosie, let's play with the subscribers, right? Let's play um, phone roulette. Okay, so, but wait, I have to do it one more time. I have to show them one more time. But seriously, my friend, believe me, I should read out the conversation, actually. Okay. So good. Look at that scan, though. Right. Right. This is how you play phone roulette with everybody, okay? Easy. Are you saying everyone's mad saying, at me? No. Everyone's saying, can you make a second video reading? Video reading? Can you make a second video reading Rosie's diary? Yeah, can I read your latest one? No. Isn't it there? Yeah. It's right there. I know, it's just writing in it. Oh my god, can I read it? No. Can I read it? No. I'm going to read my digital diary on my phone. I'm going to find one. <laughs> the other day, I downloaded all the apps that were saved to iCloud or whatever, um, and I got day one. Now my day I one got day journal. One, but I was really paranoid. I was going to share it accidentally with Look, the world. Touch I wrote ID. It and then it. It, t it takes a touch ID to get in. You can't. You can't read it. Excuse me. Timeline. How do you do that? Mine didn't have touch ID. Oh really? Oh, don't read that fucking thing. Don't. Let's just see. I'm gonna find. <laughs> I love this entry. Right. The 12th of March, 2014. I feel a bit sick tonight. Busy, physically sick, and it's scary. I got over it. <laughs> I love how you just went back. I got, I over, got it. over it. Um, oh, Rose, those are the bad ones. Go hey, down to the I'm going to find some good ones. Okay, right. Well, I had a lot. This is the 21st of March, 2013. This is pretty much exactly near by out by one day, two years before we got married. Oh, <laughs> I can't see all of it. Well, I had a large coffee this morning, and I won't lie, strongly encourage my bowels. It's the... Okay. <laughs> I can't say it. No, you can't say that. <laughs> wait, wait. I love your analogy. Basically, we're going to a party, and Rose is wondering if someone's going to turn up, and she says, Ashley Catchadorian is supposed to be watching the door. <laughs> I love how you're funny, even when you're writing alone in your diary. Thanks. What about this one? Just in case anyone... Rourke was great last night. I look stunning. Rosie <laughs> danced se really sexily for me before we went out and shit, god damn, that girl is hot. <gasps> ah. Someone was... No, I don't say that! I got jealous when Rosie went over and gave him a kiss. I wasn't kissing I didn't say right. anything about it when we got into bed together until she brought it up and tried to make me sexy jealous. Huh. I was tired though. And he doesn't really do it for me. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't kiss someone, like, get off with someone. I went over and greeted them and again, like, a kiss on the That's cheek. That's enough to make me really jealous. Yeah, I know, but I didn't... She wrote in a diary, like, I went over and kissed someone. I would obviously never Only do that. Only because there was Especially history there. If there wasn't history not... there, it's fine. There's no history. You were kissing, like, I don't know, another sexy... I greeted him, like, as a friend. Wait. No. I t I write my diary like I like I'm talking to like a. I know you write it funny exactly. How like to an speak audience. It okay, I can't say that one. No. It's fine. It's fine. It's like you have to one. go down. I think. No, you have to go up. up. Oh, one sec. 
Let me read this book. Don't say that. Oh my god, just calm it down. It's fine. What about that? <laughs> Hold on, let me see. No, I don't read that. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> let me read a later one. Hold on, let's read one from, from around now. Oh, no, no. Nope. That, that says I'm pretty sure we're breaking up. That's, that's really sad. Um, let's have a look. Um, hold on, what's this one? No, Rose. Oh, Rosie, I'm not going to say them. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can't. I can't. For God's You're, sake. It's too confidential. All of these are too confidential. Oh my God, they can't say that one either. It's just so boring for people. Your diary's not just not as juicy as mine. It's juicy. It's too juicy. <laughs> Sorry, it's really boring. Um, I think one of the best ones is I quite like the one. We, I love Let's Play Games when we played when we did the first GTA ones. God, it's so funny. Um, and I really like the one we pie each other in the face. I also really like. I really like that collab with Shannon and Cammy because that was really yeah, fun. Yeah, I like the one where um, you, we piped up in the face when you turned out to be a not very good girlfriend. Rosie, I know a lot about you. I just act like I don't because I like I like to bully. What? How? Be what, less bully. What did I travel to prom in? I told you. The fire other day. engine. Yes. She didn't know that I had to tell her. I didn't know that. I didn't go to your school. How was I supposed to know? Because I was prom queen. You didn't both know about my prom. Rosie, what colour did I wear to prom? Lilac. Shit. Rosie, mm -hmm. who did I go to prom with? Rosie Green's brother. Yes, that's true. I did go with Rosie Green's brother. Chris. And you wore lilac. Yes, I did. Yeah. Thanks, Queen Morella. Um, okay, Rosie, if you think you know so much about me and you're a really, really good girlfriend, mm -hmm. let's put you to the test. Okay. Okay. Uh, Rosie, mm -hmm. what's the worst accident I've been in? Wow. Hang on, I'm thinking. Wow. Wow. So you know that Shannon Beveridge broke her leg, but you don't know what worse accident Yeah, I've Shannon been Beveridge. In. Uh, come on. What's the worst physical accident I've ever been in? I so far, touch wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. OCD. Go. Um, are you talking about a self inflicted accident? No. A self inflicted accident? What yeah. the hell? You can have a self inflicted accident. Oh. I once no. nearly chopped my ring finger off. Oh, no. I will tell you what it was. It's really, really lame. I was like 10 and I was running around in the sprinklers barefoot and there was a rose thorn that was about an inch big, one of those thick ones with like a really thick rose thorn. You trod and I thorn. trod it barefoot and it went all the way down to the base of the thorn and it was like that big and my mum had to literally pull it out of the sink your mum had to pull a thorn out of your foot yeah that really isn't that traumatic an experience right the next time there's a thorn and you're walking around barefoot i'm not going to warn you okay but i'm not going to pull it out either i'm going to film it yeah it's the worst thing that i've ever done physically i haven't broken anything so far touch wood have you got an i don't really Consider the way you had made it sound, it made it sound like something much worse happened. I thought you were in a car crash. You were like, What's the worst accident that's ever happened to me? I was like, Oh my god, what's happened? I don't know. You've got a thorn in your foot. Give me another question. What's the worst STI I've ever had? You haven't had one. Correct. Trick question. Um, what's my favourite colour? Is it red? Is it green? I don't really know if I have an answer. Um, okay, how about this? Rosie, how old am I? Go. 28, 6, 7, 27, 27, you're 27, 27. That's, that's difficult because I'm bad at numbers. It's difficult because you're you bad know, at numbers. I have bad oh, numbers. Oh, really? When's my birthday? 15th of June, uh, 88. It could have been faster. Um, yeah, but Rosie, I'm bad at numbers, I have to check it. Who's my celebrity crush of the moment? Ooh, um, oh, Kristen Stewart, you're Correct. back on us. I'm back on. We are back on. We take the piss and then... We'll... No, I'm back on her in old Kristen, not new Kristen. The phase where the uh, hair was like this. Stevie Bobby, we, um... And there's glasses We involved. grammed a picture on Tumblr and oh. I regrammed it, or whatever it's called, Tumbled oh. it. We blogged it. And oh. it was when she had, and it was before the hat came along, but when she just had her glasses and long hair. Then she started wearing hats and then she cut her hair off and took the glasses off and took the hat off. Mm. But like the long hair glasses face. She looks like she's dying sometimes, but 
she rocks it. You know? She's like, mm. I've got no blood in my face. I'm fine. She's an interesting one. Yeah, she is. Okay, Rosie. Who's my newest crush at the moment? It's a woman. A mole? No. I love, I've always crushed on a mole. Who's your biggest crush at the moment? Mm. Um, mm. It's not Anna Kendrick because you think she looks like a bird. She does look like a bird. She doesn't look like a bird. A very sexy bird. Um, is it a YouTuber? No. Really? Yeah. I don't know. It's a singer. A singer. Oh, Hilary Duff. No. No, I'd never fancy Hilary Duff. What's it's wrong with Hilary Duff? Music. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting smell you've brought back from outside, Rosie. <laughs> While the door was open, I decided to take the moment. <laughs> take the moment and do a fart. What's your late? I don't know. Is it Fifth Harmony? No. Who? It's Eliza Doolittle. I'm back on. Oh, you've been on her for a while. I know. You're uh, so off Pixie Lot, though. Uh, Okay, um, <laughs> right, Rosie, another question. Who is my, um, what's my dad's middle name? Oh, it's Welsh. Fucking hell, I know this. Do Hang you on, wait, know it? wait, yeah, I do. Go on then. Oh, fuck, my dad's I know name? this. What's my dad's middle name? What does it begin with? Oh, what's it begin with? What do you think it begins with? A. Rosie, he hasn't got a middle name. That was a trick Doesn't question. It? No, he hasn't got one. I really thought he did. He's just Hayden. And he doesn't like his name, but I think it's lovely. I love his name. I love it. Uh, okay, Rosie. I love it, I do. Rosie, what do I think of Miley Cyrus? Um, You've gone off her. Why? Because it's too much now. It's been too silly for too long. It's been too silly for too long! <laughs> That reminds me of someone. <laughs> Can you let dog out? Wilma. I just let it's dog in, in or out. Do you know what I mean? It's like, what would it be and why? Relive one moment at school. Relive one moment at school. Thank you, Milky Colbeak. Always appreciate it. Thank you, Hollybook. Always appreciate it. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Rachel, uh, always. Oh, I can't decide this too. Okay, go on. I would either relive prom. Yeah. Great times. Yeah. Good, had a friend, lots of friends. Uh -huh. uh, got my boyfriend, was prom queen, he was prom king. Okay. Good night. Got drunk, wore a great dress, had fun. Great. Or I would relive the end of year six form Christmas party. Okay. When I had my Cinderella moment, which okay. was quite cool. What Cinderella moment? Well, I... I don't want to know the story. I really liked this person and... I really, really liked them, and they were in a really nice suit, and I was in a really nice dress because it was like a formal Christmas party, and I had to go at midnight because my friend's mum was picking me up, and she had to do it at that time for some reason, and um, like, I danced them all night, it was really nice, and then I went to go at midnight, and I left, it wasn't my shoe, I left my cardi, so I had to leave, I tried to say goodbye to him, I couldn't find him, so I went into the car, and I was like, oh no, I left my cardi, and I went back, and he brought it, like it was Sid Ronald's shoe, and we kissed at midnight, it was really cute. Oh. So cute. No, it's I get the romance. It's really moving. Honestly, my eyes are welling up. It's weird. It's like they turned or something. I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, what a lovely story. Okay, so if I had to relive one moment from school, yeah, it would probably would it be that time be... you were camping and you wanted to get with uh, a girl, but she was with a guy, so you suggested a threesome. <laughs> Didn't happen, but that time, and they were like, "Fuck off out my tent." No, what they said to me was, Rose, yeah. pick up your flavoured condoms and get out. I left. Yeah, I should hope so. Well, I was only, like, half-dressed, so I had to pick up my stuff and leave. So I, I went eventually. The joke's on them, really. Look at me now! <laughs> no, really. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't even care. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just the record, I've never actually had a threesome. No, she hasn't. <laughs> um, it's my girlfriend Emma's birthday. Can you do a shout out to her, please? I bet Emma. Bah! That's what I imagine a shout out actually is. It's like, what? <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, it's my last year at school. I still don't know what I want to work with. I was just saying, can you help me out? Right. Now? Okay, okay, if, you, if anybody's stuck for what they want to do in later life, what you do is this. Mm. Sit and wait, because Anna Kendrick says at the end of the first twilight when they graduate, is it the first one? At the first twilight when they graduate, it's okay 
So now, now is the time for making mistakes. Exactly. Yeah, I agree with that. And also, don't worry about what you do at uni. I mean, worry about it and try and get good grades. But if you change your mind, that's fine because literally... Oh, my God, you're so annoying. If Anna Kendrick says it, it's obviously legit. Am I right? Don't worry about, um, you know, changing your mind. Just do what you enjoy the most because you'll probably get the best grades for the thing you enjoy the most. Exactly. Because you probably put more effort and time into it. And what did you enjoy the most? Me? Yeah, you. I didn't do what I enjoyed the most and I regret it. <laughs> but I've got a good job now, but it doesn't matter. What did you enjoy the most? I didn't do English. I should have done English. Oh, so you can speak English. Why are you so lazy? Cuticles are like the foreskin of the fingers. My fingers need to be circumcised. Ew. So sick. <laughs> um, I did media studies. She studied media studies. I liked it. I feel that thing was really good. I wish I'd done a double award. I wish I'd done in a media studies with English lit. As well, you could have done I that. I know I could have, but I got really bad advice from someone who's supposed to be a friend, and they said don't do that, and so I didn't, and now I regret it. And who I was it? Kirsty, and she only did it because she wanted me Not in all Kirstie her classes. Headley. No, she wanted me in all her classes, so she, she really, really said do not do it. So I didn't do what I wanted to do. So there's some advice: don't listen to your friends. She wanted to bone you. Um, li yeah. Um, listen to your heart. Listen to ya. Yeah, listen to your heart and um, do what the subjects you love the most because honestly, that's what I do regret not doing English. But I mean, hasn't changed affected my life. I but I do regret it. Do you remember that time in university where you had that kind of relationship with that teacher? And I was really jealous. Yeah, and I I said I'm gonna wait outside the cinema. So he comes out with his son, and I can out the fact that he sleeps with the students in front of his wife. He didn't sleep with me. You just made it sound like he slept with me. He didn't sleep with Rosie. Only because I intervened. No, that's not why. No, why then? Because we never slept together. Oh. Didn't want to. Good, I'm glad. Didn't do anything with him. I know you didn't. Still threatening there, wasn't it? What do you mean threatening? Threatening to my manlyhood. Why? Because I'm not a university lecturer or a sexy old man. Yeah. A sexy old woman. I'm not old. I've only got a few grades. Really? You're not old. Mm. Don't try and do my thing. You're not. Oh, older than me though. 